Greetings and salutations to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Kluger finally, finally welcomes you back to the Grim Christmas Challenge. How is it all going? This is my first video back since reconstructive collarbone surgery for anyone who isn't already in the loop on that. So I apologize for the delay in this video recording. I am well aware that it's well after Christmas. So this video is kind of like the review of how far I got into the challenge. Of course, unfortunately, nowhere near as far as I would have liked. Um, but what can you do? This this was the circumstance that we got given. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but that's okay because not all is lost. As you can see, we reached level 22. Um, so I'm just gonna go back into town because we're gonna. What I was thinking we could do is respect this build. Um, based around what we kind of achieved so far, because, look, I tried to be optimistic while we were doing this build, but let's be honest, I mean, it just really wasn't ideal. Um, <coughs> I, was, I said it multiple times during my live streams and that sort of thing, just a distinct lack of uh, any sort of AoE uh, area of effect damage or control was really going to hamper us in the long run, but that's okay. Um, that being said, like, well, rather, besides that, it's not too bad of a build, so let's jump in. So, Arcanus, this is where most of the problems were. I've, I've got the link to the original prescribed build um, in the description below, by the way, for anyone who's a bit lost or wondering what's going on. Um, so this is how far I got into the Arcanus tree. I was kind of intentionally not going further up because <coughs> I didn't really know that I wanted to, um, given that I sort of already planned to be respecting this build a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, Iskandra Ex Elemental Exchange, not a bad line to be taking. What annoyed me was only putting one point into there and then loading up on these. Um, I'm not really sure because I've barely tried this line of skills. So I'm not 100% sure on the best way this would be effective. But I imagine blasting... <coughs> Man, I've got this cough now. I imagine blasting most of our points... Um... Putting a lot of points into each of the skills would be the most effective way to get damage out of it, but I'm not really sure. Um, but I'll play around with that. I reckon I might try do that. Like initially, I would imagine loading up more on there and less here, and then just sort of sort of specking into it would be a good way to go. Um, Maven's Sphere of Protection is pretty cool. I would definitely have gotten that anyway. Um, also, in a focus, I probably would have gotten, and also Arcane Will, I probably would have gotten. Um, I'm pretty sure the build tells me to get this, which I probably wouldn't get, but I've never really tried it. Um, and that's really it. I mean, it was also telling me to get Reckless Power, which I might play around with, um, depending on how it scales. I think, if I recall correctly, you don't have to sacrifice as much health the more points you put in it, but don't hold me to that. Um, but that may be worth playing around with. Um, so the, the main change I would make from here is taking one of... Um, Kalidor's Tempest or Alexra's Flash Freeze, or maybe even Trojan's Sky Shard. Just something that does an AoE, right? Um, this would be kind of cool. I, I tend towards this because um, it's got the Absolute Zero skill, which actually no longer has Freeze on it. It used to have Freeze. I haven't kept up, obviously. <laughs> but it's definitely got Slow on it. So, uh, since this would be a melee build, um, doing that could... Be oh, no, it does. This spell freezes enemies for its duration. There you go. Um, so, yeah, maybe I would get that, for example. Something that does AoE and helps control the bad guys around us. What's its, it's 7.5 skill recharge, 7.5 second skill recharge, I'm not so sure about that. Um, Trojan's, uh, sorry, Kalidor's Tempest is pretty spammy. Um, but doesn't have any sort of stun effect. So I would get one of those. I'd probably try Electro's Flash Freeze and see how it goes. Um, as for Nightblade... Uh, also, not like, I mean, this was not bad at all. The only thing I would change from here, per se, uh, is get, probably getting rid of Veil of Shadow, because, meh, not really a big fan of it. Um, the main other change that I would make would be simply going further up this tree, probably. Um, at least going to Elemental Awakening. Um, it's good because you both get the point, you get the points from your bar, um, as well as this buffs uh, the elemental damage we're doing that synergizes quite nicely with this Skandra's Elemental Exchange. Potentially would also get a Ring of Steel just as AoE stun control goodness. Um, and that's about it. Uh, this was, yeah, not, not too bad for sure, for sure. Shadow Strike's always nice to have, of course. And yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the bulk of it. Devotion, I mean, I've only really dabbled in so far. Um, 
I was getting some points here just to try and help out my elemental damage. I got this one here, Scholar's Light. I also did the Owl um, because that boosts um, burn, uh, Frost Burn and ele Electrocute damage. Um, also gives us elemental damage, but still early days over there. So I've got five. I've got five in. I've got one in there and five in uh, this one, which came from this thing, I think. Yeah. So there you go. Um, yeah. So that's really the beginning, middle, and end of it. It's more of an update video than anything else. I uh, I realize I'm just kind of talking at you guys, uh, but we'll do a quick respec. Though I mean, having a proper look at it, there probably isn't much I would change right at the moment, other than probably going like. Bang, 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 bang. And then probably just put them mostly into there. Something like that. And then just cranking more points into there. That's not terrible DPS. And we probably stay two-handed. Like, I want to... What I'm thinking, guys, is converting this into one of my veteran hardcore adventures series. Because uh, I play, I made, made it hardcore veteran, so that's all good. And we can now play this build sort of unrestricted. So the plan for the build now is to belt the Living Daylights out of Iskandras, get maximum points in there, um, and then use Maven's Sphere as our defensive skill. So instead of a shield, just have Maven's Sphere of Protection on. Um, so that allows us to walk around with a two-hander. Um, or I might even go, I could go dual wielding, but that costs a crap load of points. So we'll stay two-handed. Um, and we'll, yeah, like I said, use Maven's Sphere and possibly go up to conversion. Um, at least go up to this line. So then we can also possibly, possibly play around with Reckless Power, if I'm feeling brave. Um, so that's the plan. But we've got to go up to there as well. We'll see how we go. So yeah, there we go. Stuff and things. I didn't really change much. But can I go and belt anything for you? How far did we get? I haven't killed the Warden yet. Find the Warden's Laboratory. So let's just do a really quick run. How long? It's not been a particularly long video. I haven't even gone in here yet. Holy poops, man. I'm, I really haven't played this character in such a long time. I've been really out of action. I've been playing a lot of Grim Dawn today, but I haven't been able... I haven't had the presence of mind to be able to concurrently... This is not going so well. <laughs> to concurrently uh, have the presence of mind to do com commentary. So I've just been working on some builds and stuff. I've actually been playing a non-hardcore character because I got sick of them dying. And I want to try to get a character through to Epic. Because build 29 and, you know, the content completeness has all dropped recently. And Kluger hasn't got a character that can play Epic. So I've actually started a new character from scratch. Um, so as you can see, the damage isn't monumental at this point in time. But it's not terrible either. Spikes to 419. And when we've got uh, Pneumatic Burst on, I believe. So, hey, it's not mind-blowing, but it's not too shabby either. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a late bloomer, because I think we'd have to get at least sort of like... 10 points in here, maybe 6 in here, and then we'll start seeing a decent result. Um, but I mean, hey, if we just go up to like one random dude... See, that that pretty much one-shot him, which isn't terrible. Ah, oh, crap, I just realized I should have got Electra's Flash Freeze. I'm a stupid... No AoE, bro, is the issue we have here. No AoE. I might pull back to town real quick. Actually. Boom. Boom. Ah, oh, this light. Look, I knew this was going to happen. I was trying to not go in here because of this exact pur uh, reason, purpose, thing in the Glaven. I'm doing, I'm doing good for talking. I just wanted to, as a quick sidebar, for someone who hasn't recorded any videos in pretty much two weeks, I'm saying lots of words. I'm impressing myself. Get dead! Son of a gun. Alright. I'm gonna get this book, too. Give me the things. Alrighty. So, because I'm trying to show you guys what I would have gone for as opposed to what the build gave me. Hence, I'm fussing and piddling around in the places with the things. Um, yeah, one sec. So, maybe we'll take a point out of uh, Mavens for now, because it's, you know, whatever. I don't really know. That's fine. Oh, I'd probably put a point into Mira as well, just as a panic button. Um, but let's try Alexa's Flash Freeze. We'll put it on uh, number two, and we'll put Fire Blast over there on number three. And we'll try that out for a whirl and a bang and a Glavin. Why am I saying Glavin so much? I haven't even watched Sim Simpsons lately. Pew, 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 pew. Alright, cool. So maybe I'll live stream this character or something like that as well, so we can actually grind it up. Got a lot of characters to work on at the moment because I'm kind of I'm in catch up mode since I've been out with the collarbone, um, which is a bit rough. But you know what can you do? That's what are the cards I would dealt. Let's try it. Wapa! Yeah, see it does do a freeze. That's good. 
I, I'm not a fan of the cooldown on it, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> cooldowns, you know, it's part of this game or whatever. Bloody nonsense. But it's a good, it's a good uh, to just have, you know. Just as a bit of a, hey, hey, you're not gonna hurt me. I'd probably, I'd probably best save it until I have too many people around me. I gotta remember to use Shadow Strike too, I'm not using it at all. Man, it's gonna, I feel like this is gonna end up being like a skill heavy sort of, uh, an active skill heavy sort of character. I got a lot of buttons I need to be pressing here. Gotta get po more points into Maven Sphere for sure, but there's so many skills that feel useful that I'm not even sure where to spend. But I'll figure that out. This build is not, this video rather, is not so much to go through all that nitty gritty. It's more just of a ideal versus the challenge that we were given. And now that Christmas is over, we can, um, we can sort of chill on that just a little bit. On the, uh, on the initial rules, of course. Next Christmas, I'll probably still do another Grim Dawn Christmas challenge. Or, if you guys have ideas, or if you guys just like the idea of the Grim Christmas challenge, but just remove it from Christmas, you know, just play set builds, that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. So, let me know down below. Um, so there you go. There's just a, a little bit of the build in action. It's, it's still not greatly optimized. Um, it's definitely not the most efficient build. But now we've got this character. We've got Santa. So, <laughs> Santa here. So we may as well try and see. Hey. And we'll see how we go. I mean, the damage isn't great, but it's not horrendous either. It's not the worst thing I've done. So there you go. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always so much for watching. Please do remember to leave a like or a comment below. And I thank you for your patience during this quiet time on my channel. But for now, my name is Kluger, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.